of a great, great season. We weren't supposed to be here. Remember? We were picked for eighth in the Big, big, big 12 Conference. And a team in a league with three teams in the top ten practically the whole season. We end up third. That's a great accomplishment by our players, and we've got many more accomplishments to come. We wanted to celebrate today with you, the fans, because you have been such a big part of this, as we just saw. Three straight sellouts to close out the season. Second in the Big 12 in attendance. Thank you, Cyclone fans, for being such a big part of Third year that's going out, I want to know how we feel. studios in the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show. I'm Greg Gumbel. Once again, this year's tournament features a field of 68 teams, the first four in Dayton, and the full tournament coverage on four networks, CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. It all culminates in New Orleans with the national championship game on CBS for the 31st consecutive year. The NCAA tournament encompasses the entire country. Here are the 14 cities across the nation where this year's games will be played. At this moment, college teams and fans have gathered coast to coast to see where they're going. Play. 
Also in the South region, Iowa State, the Cyclone. In the South region. Coach Fred Hoiberg's first NCAA tournament appearance since the year 2005, 22 and 10 on the year, and the Cyclones sitting around and cheering and having a good time. They are Fred Hoiberg, a former teammate of mine in the NBA, done a terrific job with that squad getting them into the NCAAs. And Iowa State can look forward to playing UConn, the defending national champions, the Huskies. Jim Hal Calhoun's team, 20 and 13 on the year, looking to become the eighth coach to win back-to-back -back national titles. <laughs> We get the defending national champs right away. Let's do it. I asked uh, Mark Hansen from the Point Register for his professional guess on how far a drive it is to Louisville, and he said 13 hours. I figure for a scoop that's about 11 and a half hours, so we expect to see you guys there. Now these guys, these guys have to get to work, but they didn't know who they were going to play, they didn't know where they were going to play, where. We're going to have one of the first games the first day. Connecticut, but before they do, let's let them know one more time how proud we are 